Hello everyone, and um, the continuation of my, um, I don't know, mini-series kind of mission thing to kind of help make um, older versions uh, of um, VirtualBox pre-4.0, um, or is it 5.0? I forgot. Anyways, to make them easier to download without having to go to um, the Wayback Machine. So... Yeah, just ignore the massive mess going down, going over there. So I, so I figured out, um, figured out um, an AMD Virtual Box 5.0. I mean, 1.5 of um, Virtual Box. That's actually AMD 64, so 64 bit. So and now, um, when I check the capture on the Wayback Machine, it actually did explain that um you have to download either the 64 i mean the yeah the 64 or 32 bit on your operating system otherwise it won't work so i guess it doesn't have any backward compa compatibility with um with 32 bit so um, i went uh, went ahead and installed it but again just to s just to show you that how it actually looks. It looks pretty much identical, you know, and that's just because the Windows installer package. Mm, yes, I'm sure I want to cancel because I'm not going to install it because I already installed it. And yes, let's go. I also got um, a Windows Vista ISO to test it on to see if it can actually install um, the updates. I mean, not updates, the 64-bit operating system on a 64-bit host. I'm a 64-bit guest. Of course, with you never know. Oh yeah, this is um that version. New. That's also another way to do it on here. New. Uh, whatever. Just let me choose Windows. No, it won't. So I will not be able to test it. But it doesn't emulate Windows NT4. I'm gonna have to get my ISO file on it. Again, do not give it too much RAM, otherwise I do. New. Welcome to the new hard disk, was it? Mm, whatever. It's gonna get deleted anyways. Oh, 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 I see the problem. New. Yes. Uh, I think that'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And it failed. Okay, I see. Uh, just more gibberish. Next, finish. So now it's time to grab my Windows ND4 image. Yeah. And this is kind of like sight unseen. Like, in terms of it. emulation, virtualization, host and guest support. Let's go under here. Windows NT4. Oops. 4. Windows NT4. Windows NT. So NT 5.0, 5.0. Workstation 1, Service Pack 1. Do, 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 do. Now it should be a lot faster because unlike that, Windows Vista 1. I mean, it doesn't even have support for Windows Vista. So, so yeah. Just copying files. Okay, so now it's done. So let's go back to... You know, tech virtual box. Let's go under the settings. There we go. I'm gonna actually just this so it actually is a little bit more stable. But maybe a little bit more wobbly, but I don't wanna break this camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, enable that so image. Huh. Command prompt just popped up. Add. 
Add an image. Come on, hurry up, desktop. Four. Now let's just do an operating system that actually supports this. is probably too new, but. Yeah. Let me just double check to make sure it doesn't have any support for it. Yeah, it doesn't. So. <clears throat> yeah. Also, um. I'm also going to be uploading some torrent files. Those are not mine. Those were actually originally on VirtualBox, VirtualBox's website. Also, Chrome may say um, that the files may be dangerous because I just may say that it's dangerous because n not a lot of people have downloaded it. But yeah, it's old software, so trust me, it's safe. I'm installing it. Just me, it's safe. I got it directly from the Internet Archive um, on the Wayback Machine. So unless if the servers were compromised back then, and you know, modified the program with a and uploaded their own program with malicious code built in, it's safe. But again, I cannot guarantee that because, well. Well, because I did not work at the software, and um, it's virtual is it's virtual machine software, so it's probably not going to um, too small. It's probably not gonna. It's probably not not gonna like the software, even if it's safe, just because you know it requires so much drivers and system elevation and. All of that, no, that it has to be functionative. Is it functionative? Three. Oh, that's interesting. You know what? I'm going to shut this down myself. Obviously, it's not interested. It's kind of cool how you can. No. Oh yeah, it's kind of cool how you can start it up there, rather than, you know, going into this console area and later versions and click start in there. I was going in there, but I want to go under settings. I do I just realize that there's a button right there. <gasps> Hard disks. I don't think you can actually... Hmm. Well, it seems like I'm not going to be able to do it without going through that entire hassle, which I don't want to particularly do. Hey, look! <coughs> so, yeah, I got no idea. Also, Windows XP's updates, like, I mean, yeah, I know Windows XP is a great offering system, however, its Windows update is really inconsistent, and then that's just something that I bet we all do not miss whatsoever if you actually remember it so yeah this um this version in that um in that torrent file will be available to download on my google drive so also new record two videos in a row i mean in you know in a row in terms of two days so um Thanks for watching.